Okay, this is Ringwalk Media, the association with Well Ice Therapy and Steel Hub Management, Mr. Eddie Hearn. Two really, really good press conferences, both with a bit of needling. Yeah, a lot more than I expected. I mean, I knew there'd be needle, but I didn't realise it would be quite as violent, almost like an attack on sight mode. Um, but that's just the rivalry, you know. It's been a long time coming. I think when you get two fighters particularly that have been at each other for years on social media, when they come together again, this is what you get. And it's going to be a huge night, April 27th. They've got Talk Sport tomorrow and uh, the zone with Addy, both this far apart. So we've just got to be on our toes and then, and then make it to fight week. And do you think that um, Jack is in particular is seeing this as a, a route to the world title rather than a grudge match? I just think it's personal, you know, and it's something he's got to put to bed. I think, of course, he wants to win a world title, but this might even mean more to him than that because he believes, you know, a lot of people do, that he should have been undisputed champion. But people will not forget about that fight until this fight takes place and now obviously we made it happen you think it'll be good to finally get this over and done with and actually move on both of the fighters maybe or maybe do a trilogy you know if it's a great fight the build up will enable it and uh, I think the winner's going to I think they're losing a tough spot you know for Josh Taylor to lose back to back fights I think his career would be in a bad place and, and for Jack he wants to fight for a world title and if he gets beat that's a long way away Listen, going to the other press conference that was earlier today, um, Cameron Vong, he's coming of age a bit here, isn't he? Yeah, so it's the perfect fight for him. Well, it might be, we'll find out. But, you know, from a profile perspective, obviously raising his own uh, profile and, and, you know, it's a real challenge. Jordan Flynn can fight. He's a good talent and um, I think it's a risky fight. People just presume that because you're putting a young prospect in, in a fight like that, that they're a big favourite. But, you know, he's never gone past what, six rounds and, you know... Um, I think it's a, it's a tough fight for him. Have you got plans with Cameron if he comes through this and maybe one other fight to maybe drop in at a, a, maybe an English level? Yeah, I mean, I th this is English level in my opinion. I mean, Jordan Flynn's been at that level already. And I think Cameron should move towards a British title by the end of the year. You know, I think give him another three or four fights. Once you beat a Jordan Flynn, you know, you've got those other guys, you know, I don't know, Gomez against Kane Baker winner like that. That's a great fight as well. It's actually a really good card April 13th. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the night and that fight. Listen, a couple of people mentioned Conor Ben. Um, there's a few fights flying around, but someone that maybe people have overlooked is uh, Conor Walker. He's got well ranking points and a belt. Is that something maybe you would look at? Um, no, because he doesn't quite have the profile. But I like Conor Walker a lot, and he's going to get the opportunity to be in big fights. And you know, someone asked me earlier about David Avanesian and Josh Kelly and like those kind of guys. You have to understand, Conor Ben's looking for a multi-million pound payday in a in a like. A household box office fight so you, you're not going to fight a guy who, who's more than capable by the way Conor Walker but the kind of fights for Conor Walker are more like Paddy Donovan Lewis Crocker maybe even David Avenesian himself you know Josh Kelly they're the kind of fights and if Conor can put a couple more wins together he's going to put his name in the mix for the mega fights as well and one more from me um, Katie Taylor and Chantel Cameron the trilogy um, have we got a date for that yet We've heard May possibly over in Ireland yeah, that's the plan. End of May. Uh, Katie will definitely fight end of May. We want it to be against Chantel Cameron, but also, obviously, we've got to make the numbers work. Um, but, yeah, planning the next fight now, and that should be announced soon. Thank you very much, Eddie.